Welcome to how to conduct audits and inspections with the Checker. I'm going to show you how simple it is to begin using the Checker software, which we designed specifically to improve the efficiency and effectiveness of audit and inspection processes. First, let's log into the secure software with your username and password. You'll go to your library and see the list of inspections you use. Might just be a few or it uh, might be 20. You can choose only the ones you need and you can create customized inspections. Click one of these inspections. The first screen you will see will tell you if you're on or offline. There will also be fields for basic information. Through our administration tool, you can add or delete these fields to meet your needs. Common fields include date and time, which is auto-populated. Other fields can be set so that they will always auto-populate with the information you enter the first time you use this screen, unless you need to change it. Any information that has to be filled in over and over again belongs on screen one. When you hit next, that's where all the action is. On the inspection elements page, you're able to include unlimited inspection items. Of course, you want to be able to easily sort through them. You can do that using categories because each one of these categories has separate elements that need inspecting. The items for a general inspection or first aid kits and stations or fire protection are only what each type of inspection requires and nothing more to clutter up the screen. You're only dealing with what you need to deal with. If you click on the item or question, you will see additional information that has been entered about the item. This is the Checkers Info Manager feature. You can use the Info Manager to attach relevant documents or URLs such as OSHA regulations for the item being inspected. You can also attach photos, graphics, and other visual aids, which are often worth many words. You can click on deficiency, pass, or not applicable. You can also choose to auto select all items as pass. That way, the only clicking you have to do is when a deficiency occurs and you're changing the pass to deficiency. When an item is deficient, you can enter comments into this box. Your comment can be as long as you need it to be. There is no character cap. When you're finished with the category, it is auto-checked so you can easily see it's complete. Currently, you will see the letter C beside the category to confirm that it is complete. When you're done with all the items and save the completed inspection, a report summary is automatically generated and the category is highlighted in the category selection drop down menu to let you know it's been done. In the report summary, you can upload images and or screen captures to each item. And very importantly, a deficiency is highlighted in red and supervisors and maintenance are automatically sent an email with a PDF of the summary report noting the deficiency. The email also includes a follow up link which can be used to communicate back to the inspector. That's it. You've now completed your first inspection.